Hello guys, I'm here today on the Rusty Glove Box. What we're going to do today is I'm going to install a little dual axis solar tracker. And uh, this is made by EcoWorthy. I got it off of eBay. And uh, I'm going to take the solar panels that I have on my roof and move them to this solar tracker. I have four up there. I have two additional new ones. They're just 100 watt panels, so that's just going to be 600 watts but this is supposedly uh, capable of holding 200 watt panels so sometime in the distant future I'll be buying additional panels so uh, this is not a how-to this is as I go and uh, so y'all come on outside with me and let's check this out then I built a pedestal to uh, mount my mask to that's going to mount the solar array to this uh, mast is designed where you have to point north so it knows where all the directions are. And uh, so it's a pretty cool little, little deal. Uh, but uh, I'll show you more as I go along. What I'm doing to set my post is uh, I'm gonna use this quick setting uh, cement mix. And well, we have the mast installed. I have it bolted firmly in the ground. I have uh, the north tab pointed toward the north, and now I'm gonna start the uh, assembly for the uh, mounting the solar array. Well, this is as far as I'm gonna get today. I'm getting hot and tired, and uh, I picked up, it's a little before lunch. Temperature's really starting to creep up, so I'll hit this again tomorrow morning. Okay, well, here we are. We're doing a test run right now, and uh, Looks like I've got the sensor in the correct place. I've got my little wind speed sensor going. And uh, I still yet have uh, not set the computer to the uh, recommended settings. Uh, I'm just letting it run on its own settings for now. Well, just going over a few of the parts of this uh, solar tracker. And the most important part is the little sunlight uh, sensor it aligns everything uh, according to where the Sun is and for my system this must be on the northeast side and so I have it here let me back up I have it here and I first fired it up yesterday and I've been watching it, and it looks like this is gonna work where this sensor is located. My next sensor is the little wind speed sensor. And what this does is if the wind gets too high, it will make the uh, solar array move flat so that it won't uh, catch too much wind and be like an umbrella and try to turn itself inside out. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna do a lot of studying and figure out how to do some of my setting changes and uh, we'll bring you back for that. Well, the sun is just starting to peak over the top of the trees. And uh, so now the uh, solar tracking solar array is uh, just starting to kind of come alive. It was in the flat position and it gets little peaks of sunshine through the trees up there. And uh, so it has already self-adjusted itself to this angle right here. Well, here's my next little update. Uh, I've got another shelf bracket there with a little plate and it's perfect for mounting one of those little small like lawnmower battery boxes on there. I have a small sealed lead acid battery uh, that I'm keeping in there and I was supposed to get it today but it didn't show up. Uh, it was a little small solar panel with a charge controller to help keep that battery charged up. Well, I hope you found that kind of interesting, maybe just a little bit entertaining. Uh, I'm going to call it quits for today. I've got some other stuff coming. I'm going to end up having to dig a trench, lay some pipe, uh, all that, 
before I actually install uh, the solar panels. I bought a new inverter and all that, and I'm going from a 12 volt system to a 24 volt system. So I'm gonna do a big change on that. I'm gonna use a 2500 watt inverter. And uh, so we'll just see how that goes. So I appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out here.